What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Hidden Oaks Homestead. Uh, this is a video that I did not want to do. Uh, I like for all of our videos at the end to have some kind of resolution, some kind of positive side, happy ending, whatnot. And this one is not gonna have that. You're not getting that in this video. I didn't want to do the video. Nicole kind of uh, pushed me, pushed my hand and is I don't want to say forcing me to do it, but after consideration, she's right. Uh, like I said, I like to have a happy ending at the end. And she was like, you know what? It's not always going to work out. And this time it didn't work out. So uh, just know there's not going to be a happy ending. So let's go. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Hidden Oaks Homestead. Farm Work Sunday. Chip and Nicole. We're back in back in the pig area again. <laughs> we're doing it. We're getting pigs, guys. Check out the voice on that one. <laughs> she I'm excited. I'm ready. Uh, Nicole found pigs for us. Yes. On uh, Craigslist. Craigslist. It's not um, as many as we want because we we um, we're gonna keep looking uh, we're probably gonna go to the livestock auction yeah. maybe and see and look around but these are local ish um, for us they are right across the river um, from here so it's about an hour drive if we didn't have the river in between and we had a bridge directly we'd look at half an hour be a lot quicker but it's a local farm um, so we're gonna pick up some babies from them baby ish they're two months about? old they're about eight weeks they're about 40 50 pounds two weeks old right now yeah so they already pre-fed yeah <laughs> They've, they've they got, already, a, got, got a good jump already. They got a good uh, a good amount of meat already on so, them. But before we go pick them up, we got a few things that we got to do around here to get them ready. You guys know if you watched the last video that we have put the fencing up. Mm -hmm. So that's taken care of. But we need to get their waterer in here, get that straight. We need to get their feed buckets in here. We got to uh, put the shelter up. We're going to do a little... Uh, shelter with some uh some cattle panels and t-posts and a tarp yeah. similar to the hoop house that we have our yeah. chicken tractor we're gonna see if they don't destroy that if that if that'll work yeah i think it'll be if it'll not be good. if that doesn't work then we'll just figure something else out we're, Trial and error. we're always trying to figure things out around here see what works see what doesn't so we're gonna we're gonna try that we're gonna try that and uh, then also the also these little piggies <laughs> are not familiar with electric fencing so uh we're gonna use the premier one fence and we're gonna set it up uh with the with the uh perimeter poly wire and try to use it like a training yeah, we're, setup. Gonna, we're gonna train them on this electric fence a little bit so that way they get familiar with and know that the yellow yellow zappy thing is bad and they'll stay away from it if we just put them in without training them to it they're gonna touch it and then they got 360 degrees to choose from which way they want to go when yeah. they get zapped and, and if they get enough speed up speed up yeah. and just run if, through it they're gone they might the first few times they touch it they might touch it with their nose and just bolt straight through it sometimes you typically they touch it they go back but uh it's a 50 50 chance right now when they don't know what they're doing so we're gonna we use don't want to take that chance yeah I'm done chasing pigs. He's getting too old for this. I say I'm done chasing pigs. <laughs> Hopefully he I would is done. I would love to be done it chasing pigs. It would be pigs. nice to kind of bring the stress level down this time around because yeah. last time, basically every time we moved them, stress level was high. Yeah. Yelling level to each other was very high. She's so, always yelling at me. Because he's always doing things wrong. Um, See what I deal with? Hmm. Anyway, so ideally we'll get that stress level down just a few notches i think this area is going to help with that not having to rotate them because hopefully rota <laughs> rotating them with that premier one the way the way we were doing it anyways it was just every time we had to rotate them we ran the risk of losing them forever yeah exactly so. and uh 
yeah so so we're gonna try that out we're gonna yes. train them we're gonna uh, but before we go we're gonna go ahead and set up the uh, the water and the feeder and the shelter yep. so that everything's already in here um, by the time we get them here later today and then we'll get on the road and go get them all right so real quick while we start getting things set up to, to take care of them in here if you guys want to drop down real quick and hit that like button for us that would help us out a lot and subscribe if you haven't yet if you haven't hopefully you have already and then hopefully you will get notifications if you hit that notification bell because otherwise you won't know necessarily about new videos coming up yep and as then we're gonna get started all right get some work done <laughs> we're getting pigs Okay, so I don't know how well you guys can see this, but we are inside the fence, the Premier One fence right now. This is going to be very temporary. What we're doing here is we have the strands of fencing, the poly wire, running through this. This way, they'll get used to being around the poly wire. They'll touch it a few times, and what the perimeter premier one fence is going to do is when they touch it and they bolt they're still going to be contained otherwise they would touch this they would bolt and they would just be loose so because the poly wire it doesn't the poly wire itself doesn't contain them the fear of the poly wire is what contains them so we have to establish uh, that fear in them that if they touch it, they're gonna get zapped and after they hit it a couple of times They'll learn to respect it. I guess respect is a better word than fear They'll learn to respect the wire the poly wire and then they won't even come within a foot of the perimeter itself And and that's really how you uh How you contain pigs with electric fencing? We got three cattle panels we're gonna line them all up, get them all level. We're gonna zip tie them to each other. Then we're gonna take a tarp. We're gonna put the tarp over the cattle panels. Uh -huh. And then we're gonna bow it up and create kind of a hoop house effect. Hoop house effect. With yep. them. Uh, <laughs> and then we're gonna drive T stakes into the ground to kind of hold it all in place. And then we're gonna secure the cattle panels to the, to the T, -posts the T -posts. posts with the tarp. Yep. And we're setting it up east to west, so every morning when the sun rises, they see the sun. They come get up. they get some warmth. It's, <laughs> they don't care about the sunrise. They see the sunrise. They really don't care. <laughs> but it, that way, when the sun does come up, they're they're getting the sunshine in the morning. If you put it north and south, then there's really never going to be any sunlight getting inside, yeah. and then it's it's just going to get just muddy gonna and get gross, really and nasty disgusting. in there. So think ahead, guys. <laughs> think ahead.
You know what's harder than managing one cattle panel? Managing three cattle panels at the same time. <laughs> well, this thing's heavy. Uh, They're sturdy though. Don't, don't, what are you doing? Are you, They're good. See? Now it's gonna be bent up, don't do that. It's gonna be fat. It's like working with children out here. So, uh, it looks good, the frame is up. Now we just need to uh, secure it to the T-posts and throw the tarp over it and this thing will be ready for piggies to move in. Batteries. We went to put the tarp on and didn't know it. Battery decided it was done working. So we really did it though. We we got it done. We did it. So uh even without camera. Everything's ready to go. So what we're gonna do now is just trailers packed up we're just gonna jump in the trailer and we're gonna get out of here we're and... gonna jump in the truck yeah we're gonna get we're gonna get in the truck yeah with the trailer and then we're gonna drive then we're gonna drive to go in, get in the truck would make no sense to get in the trailer <clears throat> no at this point no we can load the kids in the trailer Ooh. go full what y'all think country folk okay anyway so everything's ready to go um looks good yeah we're happy with it Looks good. We'll see. Looks good. But okay, we're gonna get out of here and let's go get those pigs. Let's go. Back home. We got them. We got them. They're cute. E easy peasy. Uh, wanted to talk real quick before uh, we go to the next step, which is unloading them, because I don't know how successful successful that's going to be. <laughs> that is making me nervous. Like I said, these these pigs have never been on electricity before. And I'm going to blame him for and, everything. Uh, so even the Premier One, we don't know how they're going to handle that going on that. Yeah, we don't know. So uh, this is kind of the dicey part of the whole situation. Yeah, so. We're going to put some feed down for them, and then uh, we're going to put them in, and hopefully they don't freak out. Yeah, and the they... plan is to try to get them out one by one. Um, this time, instead of having them all in one big container, we, uh, we loaded them into three individual cages. That yeah. way, we don't have to worry about controlling the rest of them. Um, we can Much do better it one process, by one. we think. So um, definitely think this is better uh, to try to introduce them one by one instead of just throwing them in there and hoping for the best. They smell really good. <laughs> yeah. I got I got my gloves on because uh, they're Chip they're nasty. A, Chip took a bath with them earlier, loading them up. So <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we're gonna get the feed set up for them, and then we're gonna get them in and see how everything works. Hope out. Hope for the best. Wish us luck. Us? What are you doing? I'm filming. 
Wish, wish her luck. She's, <laughs> she needs all the help she can get. Before we unload them and put them in their new habitat here, we want to make sure that the fence is going strong and we want to assure we test the voltage. And we're at eight, so we're good. He's turned around facing me. Oh, he... Hey, hey, hey. Oh, no. Well, the other one has power too, so. Uh, so uh, they're gone. Uh, the premier one fence in one of the corners was a little higher than it should be. Slipped right underneath. And once one of them walked out, the other two followed suit and then uh the poly wire was didn't do crap nothing because they like <laughs> like we're trying to train them to respect it they had no respect for electricity and just whew, into the woods feel like we've done this before feel like we've made this video once already <laughs> uh, so we can't chase pigs through the woods the sun's going down uh, it's just, we can't chase pigs through the woods right now. So one of the two, we, we couldn't, we, you just, you just can't, you can't even catch them. No. So we put feet out. Uh, I don't know how they, last time we had this problem when they ran off, at least they had associated yeah. their feeding area with this is where the food is. La last time they were here for about two weeks before they, they got free. This time, as soon as we put them on the ground, whew, gone. gone. So, uh, really, don't see. And who knows? We we don't know. We don't know. They could. Uh, we put feet out for them. Maybe it'll bring them back. Let's just say we'll see. We don't have a lot of hope. Never know. But I don't think there's. And it's hunting season right now too. So <laughs> we got hunters out everywhere. Yeah. So. Um, I assume we're not getting these back. So we will uh, leave feed down and maybe they come back tonight. If not, uh, we'll be looking for more pigs. For more pigs and we'll try it again. We we got to got to figure this stuff we gotta out. We got to figure it out because we do we we want to do this. There's motivation behind this. We do want to do this and we want to make it work and we're hoping for less mistakes yeah. as we go along but it's so we're we're not going to close the video out right now we're going to going to see what happens tomorrow we're going to see what happens overnight if if they don't come back then we're looking for new pigs we will get new pigs and try to do something differently yeah to train them to the wire because i don't know Last time with the Premier One, they didn't just take off through it like that. They they popped it and then they respected the Premier One, and I expected that to happen again this time. Yeah, it didn't happen that way. So I don't know how we're gonna do it, what we're gonna do yet. We'll figure it out. Um, we'll we'll see if they come back. I doubt it. Um, so we're just gonna I don't know. We're gonna have to figure out something 
um, to do to to close gaps. Um, maybe I don't know. Maybe we'll put some netting around the electrical netting just to have some support there where they maybe a third can. layer of security. Another layer of security. I don't know. All right. Let's. Uh, we'll see. Let's see what happens. We'll see. So as you can imagine, they did not return. They had no reason to. Uh, so basically what we did, we drove 45 minutes away, gave a stranger $120, brought back three pigs, drove another 45 minutes, and turned them loose in our woods to never see them again. So uh, I, I'm in a better mood now. It's been about It's been about two weeks. So like I said, I didn't want to do this video just because I like to have some kind of uh, positive energy at the end and it's just not the case with this video but uh we're gonna try it again i'm still a believer in the poly wire uh just we got to find a better way to train them maybe not use the premier one but i don't know because last time we had pigs we used solely premier one fencing on them and it worked fine they, it just they were able to get up under it this time and just walk right past it. They had no respect for electricity. And then when they got to the poly wire, they just stepped right over it. So I don't know, but uh, we're definitely, definitely going to try it again. If you guys have any experience with poly wire, please drop down in the comment section and give me some kind of feedback, how you do it, how you train them. Cause I'm, like you guys know, we're learning as we go. So we are not pros in this game. So, but that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully the next video will have a better, uh, better outcome with pigs. We'll see. But uh, as always, thanks guys for watching and we'll see you on the next video.